So how does it make you feel? You can sense the waves. You know how strong they are. Like swimming in rough surf. You feel they could crush you. Or take you under. You just have to let it take hold of you. At the beginning of the film, you meet Tom and Marion living in their bungalow on the south coast of England. And Marion, uh, who has been in education all of her life, has retired her post as headmistress. And they are at a part of their lives where they suddenly have some time where life isn't consuming them. And that is a catalyst for Marion to try and revisit the past, to try and revisit elements of their past, which have shaped their lives for the last 40 years. David, we go back in time to meet your character. You play Patrick. Uh, Rupert Everett stars as your older self. Did you have a chance to work together on the building of the character? Because I know a lot of the filming was in lockdown. Yeah, we made it in COVID. Um... So, but Michael did encourage us to, just before filming began, to have go away on our own and have a private conversation with our, with our older selves. Um, so yeah, it was wonderful. I just had a two hour long chat with Rupert Everett. I've been a big fan of his for years. I saw him on the stage as Oscar Wilde. So I got to ask him all about that for a, a long time. Yeah, it was a real treat. It's not bad to uh, grow up to be Rupert Everett, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think um, all of us would aspire to that, even myself. Um, Gina, <laughs> how did you develop your character? Um, did, did you and Linus work closely with Emma and Harry? And, and was that how, did you have to do a lot of that remotely as well? Or did you watch the scenes after they'd already been filmed? The um, 1950s stuff was largely shot first. And so the older counterparts were really fortunate that we could get maybe three or four scenes of our younger counterparts and check out what they were doing. And we also used Michael Grandage, our director, as a conduit to bring these elements together. We also had um, our costume designer and our makeup designer who also helped talk about what the younger counterparts looked like, what their choices were. And so we could figure out any threads that still remained. Um, David, you obviously act very closely alongside Emma and Harry throughout. Obviously, Harry being an actor, but also an international pop star. I imagine you might have heard of him before you started filming. Did you know that he was the actor you were going to be acting up alongside when you got given the role? Yes, yeah, I got given the role and then Michael said, yeah, yeah, you, the person you fall in, the character falls in love with will be uh, Mr. Harry Styles playing Tom Burgess, yeah. And you think, yeah, how... how how strange is life because he, he can be for as a musician but um i will say that he he makes it incredibly easy um to forget what you knew of the musician before and to to he cares so much i think harry about uh, wanting to get the story um as, as beautiful as possible so yeah he was incredibly down to earth we had an incredible trust and bond on set yeah i had a very special time working with him yeah had either of you read the book before you went into filming or before you were offered the role? Um, I read it once I'd read the screenplay. So screenplay first, book second. Yeah, the same for me. I think I've, I've worked on a few things now that's been based bef beforehand on, on a novel. And I always like, after you've read the script and then delve into the novel in order to find those little kind of nuances and details that you'd like to bring to the performance. Um, yeah. Gina, your, your scenes are actually filmed in uh, quite a specific location. There's not a huge amount of moving around for you. How, how did you find that process of being kind of in the same space for quite a lot of the filming? I think it's very helpful, actually, because they are confined um, physically and in a way metaphorically until Marion works as a catalyst. So it was a useful thing. There's some tough viewing in the film, David, particularly for your character. What do you hope that people will take away from seeing, you know, quite recent history, the, the story playing out? Um, well, I'm just excited for an audience to see this movie. It, you know, we wrapped last year, and so, yeah, I'm really intrigued what people make of it. But I suppose, um, I think it's very important, as someone who's passionate about history, it's important for us to continue to to 
look at what's happened before in order to learn from it and be able to continue to, to keep the conversation going and move forward. Mm -hmm.